Hello everyone, you're welcome to solve this nice exponential equation here, which is 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x. This is equal to that. What is the value of x given that x is a member of real numbers and that x is not equal to 0? So let's prevent the solution from here. So we have 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 30. So we can express 8 to the power of x as 2 to the power of 3 raised to power x, then plus 2 to the power of x, this is equal to 30. So 2 to the power of 3 raised to power x, this is in the form of a to the power of n raised to power m, which we can express as a to the power of m, raised to power n. So let's apply this exponent property so that you have 2 to the power of x raised to power 3 then plus 2 to the power of x this is equal to 30. So from here let's 2 to the power of x be equal to u. So substituting u you have here we have u to the power of 3 plus u, this is equal to 30. So let's take u, that is 30 on the left hand side, so that we have u to the power of 3 plus u, minus 30, this is equal to 0. Now, the next step is that we have u to the power of 3 plus u, then subtract 30, we can express 30, this is the same thing as 27, plus 3, this is equal to 0. So here we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 27, then minus times plus 3, so this is minus 3, this is equal to 0. So here we have u to the power of 3 plus u minus 27, which you can express as 3 to the power of 3, then minus 3, this is equal to 0. So we have u to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3. So we can express this as u to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3. Then plus u subtract 3. This is equal to 0. Now, in this part here, this is the difference of two cubes, which we can express as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. And this is actually equal to a minus b. Then here we have a squared plus ab plus b squared. So let's apply this identity. Now applying this identity, here we have u minus 3. Then here we have u squared plus 3u. Then plus 3 squared, this is equal to 9. And in this case, from here, we can express this as u minus 3. Then this is u squared plus 3u plus 9. Then plus u minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now we have that u minus 3 here is common. So we can factor out u minus 3. So that now, into the parentheses, we have u squared plus 3u plus 9 then here we have plus 1 this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here we have u minus 3 and here we have u squared plus 3u then plus this is 9 plus 1 this is equal to 10 and this is equal to 0 so we have two parts here. The first part is this, which is u minus 3. This is equal to 0. The second part here is u squared plus 3u plus 10. This is equal to 0. From the first part here, you, we have u1 is equal to 3, which is a real root. So let's take the second part here. This is a quadratic equation of the form a 
u squared plus b u plus c this is equal to zero from this quadratic equation a is equal to one b is equal to three and that c is equal to ten so let's take the nature of the root of this quadratic equation let's assess the discriminant value which is b squared minus 4 is c so let's substitute the value of a b and c so that now we have 3 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 then times c which is 10 so this is 3 squared which is 9 minus 4 times 10 here this is 40 and this implies that 9 minus 40 this is equal to minus 31 which is less than 0 so this implies that we have two complex roots here and this implies that this quadratic equation part will not give us a real solution so there is no real solution from this quadratic equation so this implies that the quadratic equation part is rejected since here x is a member of real numbers so let's proceed with u1 which is equal to 3 so if you recall we are saying that let 2 to the power of x be equal to u so let's substitute x i mean u so that you have 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to solve for x here we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rho 2 to the power of x this is equal to rho 3 so rho 2 to the power of x this is in the form of rho a to the power of n which is equal to n rho a let's apply this power rho property so that now we have here rho 2 to the power of x which becomes x rho 2 this is equal to rho three so let's divide both signs by rock two here and also here by rock two so let's simplify here and this implies that x is equal to rock three divided by rock two and you find that rock three over rock two this is in the form of rock a over rock b which we can express as rock a to base b so let's apply this property now applying this logarithm property then we have x is equal to this is rock 3 to base 2 now this is the value of x this is the value of x so the next step is to verify so let's verify <laughs> this is the value of x which is rock 3 to base 2 so that now the next step here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation so if you recall we end that 8 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of x this is supposed to give us a value of 30 substituting the value of x here so we have 8 to the power of rock 3 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 30 so we can express 8 as 2 to the power of 3 so this implies that here we have 2 to the power of 3 then rock 3 to base 2 then now plus 2 to the power of rock 3 to base 2 this is supposed to give us a value of 30 now 3 is a power here so this implies that this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 3 to base 2 then plus 2 to the power of rho 3 to base 2 this should give us a value of 30 the next step is that 2 to the power of rho 3 to the power of 3 to base 2 this is in the form of a to the power of rock b to base a and this is equal to b now let's apply this logarithm property so that now 2 to the power of rock 
3 to the power of 3 to base 2, this is equal to 3 to the power of 3, and 3 to the power of 3, this is equal to 27. And that's 2 to the power of rho, 3 to base 2, this is equal to 3. So substituting this, then this implies that we have 27 plus 3, and this should give us a value of 30. 27 plus 3, this is 30, and this is equal to 30. This implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of x here, which is rock 3 to base 2, satisfies the equation. So kind of follow the steps, like this video, and subscribe. If you have alternative formulas, you can also showcase in the comment section. See you in the next video.